Next up, we have Tim Bailey. Tim is going to talk to us about OSM for Community Wildfire. Thanks for joining us. Hi everyone, uh, thank you for uh, having me on this uh, presentation. Um, so my presentation tomorrow is going to focus on uh, the applications of OpenStreetMaps for community and fire protection plans and mitigation, and particularly with the aspect of uh, potential integration of uh, 3 depth LiDAR uh, derivatives in um, uh, rapid uh, uh, building envelope uh, mapping. One of the things that has emerged is that um, wildland interfaces are some of the more uh, poorly mapped uh, areas from both um, from a variety of building envelope maps. Um, OpenStreetMaps is not alone in having trouble with wildland interfaces. <clears throat> um, however, the um, the potential for participatory mapping and having communities that are at risk uh, engaged in the process of, of improving the spatial data infrastructure that they're using for uh, mitigation planning is um, kind of a unique aspect and I think is a, a, a model um, uh, data federation strategy that uh, will have a uh, significant impact. Um, so one of the things that I've been um, visualizing as a barrier is, is that we actually need to do unit testing for areas of interest to, to see the performance of, of map systems for specific applications. And in the space with uh, build, building envelope mapping, there is kind of an emerging uh, taxonomy of, uh, or like a hierarchy of uh, uh, mapping potential for the uh, natural hazard mitigation issues. There are specific things that come out as um, that are potentially not mappable from remote sensing. And so, uh, you know, this aspect of uh, having uh, community um, participation in, uh, in improving and upgrading the map is, is absolutely critical. And especially uh, in the context of uh, in situations in which there are uh, points of data points that are like evidence of hazard to communities, the, um, you know, having a, um, the capacity to uh, update the map is, um, you know, shows, demonstrates progress. And so, um, you know, I, uh, this presentation is mostly going to be about the, um, uh, a, a demonstration on, on a few different communities and results from some of the the um, unit testing that I've been working on lately. Um, there will also be a component of uh, looking at a um, uh, sea level rise has hazard mitigation work that overlaps with this and uh, comparison with both the Microsoft building footprint um, inventory as well as the, the Oak Ridge National Laboratory's uh, uh, national building uh, uh, inventory, which is the, the default standard for uh, FEMA and some other entities. Um, yeah, so uh, this is mostly focused on um, my my, uh, my experience has been in, in California, but it is, is uh, widely relevant for the Western United States. And I should say the other thing is that I think um, I want to bring up the opportunity to use the USGS's 3DEP uh, LIDAR program as um, has uh, significant implications for OpenStreetMaps because it uh, offers a significant improvement in geometric fidelity uh, over some of the imagery-based systems uh, that are, you know, the imagery-based maps. And so I will show some of the, the uh, mechanisms I've been using to use, uh, uh, to, to is essentially ingest 3 um into um, mapping process. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Tim. Um, as you said, the, there'll be a, a workshop kind of longer session tomorrow afternoon so you can learn more there. Um, that finishes this block of talks. We'll take just a, a short break this time. We'll be back on in about three minutes. So see you soon. Thank you very much. <laughs>